Hi YouTube, it's me Shabri. I'm coming to you guys today with a foundation review. Um, the foundation I'm featuring in this video is going to be the Hourglass Vanish um, Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. It just comes packaged like this. I am in the shade Chestnut. Well, this is the shade that I thought would match me best. I tried the three um, darkest shades of the line. Um, one shade was absolutely too red. Um, another shade was too light so this one was just in the middle so I did decide to pick this up just to see how um, it will work out now I can say this this foundation is a little too red for my skin I did try it on yesterday just so I can get a feel for it to do like an honest and thorough review so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my face and talk a little bit more about this foundation this foundation retails for about $46 um, I purchased mine from Sephora. All of the Sephora locations do not carry this foundation. You have to go to the ones, I believe the ones that are like the largest Sephora stores, or you can order it online. But it comes packaged really nicely in a really nice and sleek um, package. It is like a, it's plastic, but it almost has like a glass feel to it. And then it just comes out like this. You get quite a bit of product with this. This is the shade that I picked up. As you can see already, it's a little bit on the red side for me. Um, but I am going to try to balance that out with the concealer that I use. The primer that I'm using is going to be the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, I absolutely love this primer. This is my go-to primer. But I am looking to try a new primer. So if you guys know of any primer um, that works really good to help keep your skin matte throughout the day. And it kind of has like a smoothing effect to it let me know because I would definitely want to try it out now the brush that I'm going to use to apply this is a very densely packed foundation brush so it's very dense so I'm not going to use too much of it but I'm winding the product up so if you can see already it's like a little bit too red okay so I've applied that all over my skin as you all can see and like I said, it goes on really smooth. I can already tell it's too red for my skin tone or for how I like my foundation to look. But I'm just going to go in and start to buff this out on my skin. It's really easy to blend up. As you can see, it's very, very red. It has a very, very red undertone and I don't like that with my foundation. But the coverage is pretty good. It's pretty easy to blend out, especially for it to be a um, stick foundation. I know most people have problems blending out their stick foundations, but this one seems really easy to blend out. I just don't like this color that it's giving me. Even though they have, I think, over 26 shades on their line, I don't feel like they have a wide variety of shades for darker skin tones they do but this is not a good color match and the selection that they had for like my skin tone of a deeper skin tone wasn't a lot so I don't want to have to buy two foundation sticks just to mix to get my shade especially being that it's already priced at about $50 so it's sort of expensive I know they have like a foundation brush up to go along with this foundation stick that they recommend but I believe the brush is the same price as the foundation and that's a little bit too much I believe like your everyday person so I don't know I wanted to try it without the foundation brush just to give you guys like a the most honest review ever but I mean the coverage on it with one layer is okay. I can definitely go in and add some more. So I am going to do that just to get like a good payoff. So I'm going to add just a little more, not a lot, and blend that out some more. I can say wearing this yesterday, I did notice that my skin did not get that oily. So that's really good. Even though this does have like a satin finish. I was not like really oily at the end of the day but I also thought like the foundation would oxidize throughout the day and maybe settle in more so to my skin tone and it did not it did keep its red tint or hue all day long so this is something I would definitely probably take 
back just because of the color of it it's not appealing to me the foundation itself is nice and it's finished and the type of finish that it gives but again I just don't like the color right so I'm gonna do the rest of my face here okay, ladies so I finished my makeup off camera as you can see with me adding the concealer and just finishing the rest of my face it sort of takes away the redness of the foundation but you can definitely still see it like I did not go in and add bronzer like I would normally do because my bronzer has um, some red undertones too I didn't want to be super orange today so I just skipped out on bronzer I added some blush a little bit of highlight um, lipstick eyeliner bottom mascara and then eyelashes and that's really it so this is the look so far I want to kind of go on my natural lighting to give you guys you can see like it's really orange in here but I want to go on my natural lighting to show you exactly how it looks um, just the natural lighting and not with the ring light because the ring light can have the tendency to sort of wash me out sometimes so I'm gonna switch to um, a different location to get some natural lighting Bear with okay me guys so this is me in natural lighting I just wanted you all to get like a better look on the foundation like i was saying once i've added the concealer which is more so of a yellow based concealer like to the um center of my face it sort of brings the look together so it doesn't look too red but yeah i wanted you all to see how the foundation looks with everything done i'm not too much liking this foundation again just because of the color and then it's not that great of a coverage I, I personally don't think so it goes on amazingly it is very um satin like the, the finish of it is really pretty um but i don't know i just didn't like the color range and all of that is like sort of throwing me off and then for the price point again i just think it's priced a little more on the expensive side for it to not have um more so of a cool tone that fits my skin tone so yeah that's pretty much it for now i will come back to you guys um I want to say when I'll come back to you guys by about five hours just to show you like how the foundation is holding up if we're getting any breaks in it if it's oily or anything of course I did set the rest of my face with matte mineralized skin finish throughout the day if I get oily I'll try not to blot so you guys can actually see the longevity of the foundation but for now this is what we are working with and I'll come back to you all with So it's been about four hours, and as you can see, um, my face is starting to get a little bit oily. I didn't um, blot or add any powder to my face at all. This is how the foundation is holding up. It is just getting a little bit of oily in this area, but other than that, we're still good. I don't have any separation of the foundation. As you can see what I was stating, the foundation does not oxidize throughout the day. It actually stays uh, with that red hint or hue to it so I do still plan on taking the foundation back only because I don't like to look so red as a foundation I prefer to like just use bronzer to give me that effect but I don't want like all of this to be just orange or red so I'm gonna take the foundation back for that reason but overall the foundation was really good in the sense that um, it's long lasting um, even with its satin finish it is a nice finish I just did not like um, the color that I chose to get and then the other colors that I saw in the store one was either too light another was just way too dark um, but that's pretty much it for now let me know ladies if you've tried this foundation if you would recommend it or if there are any other foundations you would recommend for me to try out leave your suggestions down below in the comment section if you have any questions or concerns, leave those there as well. And until then, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.